All right, boys and girls, we are going to be drawing a red-eyed tree frog. And looking at our inspirational book, let me see if I can move the camera up. There's our red-eyed tree frogs. So cute. Actually, they're not very cute, are they? Okay, so let's start with our paper horizontal. This is vertical. Let's turn it horizontal, okay? Move this out of the way. We're going to start with kind of in the middle. Move my paper up a little bit. We're going to draw the letter C. You guys are using pencil. I'm using marker so you can see. Finish that letter C with a backwards letter C. Okay, now let me go back to the picture that I drew. Let me show you how far apart these eyes are. See? Let's use our finger for measurement. Look, it's about one finger length away. Okay, so let's use our finger. One finger length away, and let's put our next letter C right there. And then finish it off with another letter C. All right, so we got our two eyes. Now, in the middle of our eyes, we got to do that same shape. Long C, long C, long C, long C. Don't color that in. I'm going to give you marker. We'll color it in with the marker. Okay. In the middle of this eyeball, we got to make his eyeball holder. In the middle of this eyeball, we got to make his eyeball holder. Now, watch what Miss Cunningham does. I'm not going to start right here. I'm going to start right here. This is going to give our froggy depth. Okay? Eyeball holder in the front, eyeball holder in the back. This is like his little head. Okay. In between these two eyeballs, he's got to breathe. Let's put his little nose. Okay. We got to finish the eyeball holder down there. We got to finish the eyeball holder down there. He kind of looks like an alien now. Okay, let's finish him off. Let's do another little line like there. Let's do another little line right there. This is kind of the beginning of his face, okay? We gotta make this line meet this line, but we don't wanna make it go straight. This is the top of his lip, so let's make it go up a little and down a little, like that, okay? Now, underneath his lip, he's got a uh, I was going to say he's got a bottom lip, but we can't really see it. So we got to draw what we think is his bottom lip like that. Okay? From there, he's got a big, long leg that goes down. And on this side, he's got a big, long leg that goes down. They have, um, oh gosh, this is kind of making me freak out, but I got to show you this. They have, look at this guy. Ooh. Look at his leg. Look how long it is. And look how skinny it is. Okay, here we go. Back to our drawing. Okay, don't you fall, camera. All right, now we got to make his legs. So it has to go out a little bit. You know, because it's got a little bit of muscle right there, even though it didn't really look like it did. And then down. We got to go out a little bit. And then down. Skinny. Not too skinny. We don't want it like super duper 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 skinny. Just a little skinny. Okay? Let's do something like this on each of those lines. Those are going to be his sticky fingers in a minute. All right. Now from here, we got to do his back leg. Oh, gosh. His legs are so skinny and gross. So it's going to curve out and in and on this side let me move my hand out of the way let's curve it out and in 
Okay. Now from this back leg, just go out. From this back leg, just go out. Okay. Before we finish the back leg, we got to make his belly so we know where the back legs end. So his big belly, he's sitting down. He's got kind of a round belly. Look, I didn't start here. I started over here. We got to give this froggy some depth. Some, sorry, my computer was going out. We got to give this frog some form, okay? Shape. He's, we're going to color this in, and we don't want him to look too flat. So let's not start our froggy here. Let's start him there. All right, now we know where the back legs can go. Let's start here. Skip right there. This is the back leg, so it's behind this front leg. Line. Go down. I'm just following this line. Skip that. Okay, this is the hardest part of the frog. If you got this, you're good as gold. Skip this. Go down. Oh, I ran into my front leg. I'm just going to pretend like I'm drawing. I'm going to stop there, and then I'm going to go like that. All right, let's do his sticky pads. Make a circle and a line. 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 Okay. Now he gets one more sticky pad. One more sticky pad. Circle and a circle. All right, now over here, we're gonna go circle and a line, circle, and a line. Oh, I messed up a little bit. Oh well, I'll fix it when I when I color it in. Circle and a line. Let's go back up. Circle and a line. Let's go this way in a circle. Ain't he cute? All right, let's make the log that he's standing on. So we want to make sure that all of his sticky paws are on this tree branch or stick or whatever he's sitting on. So Miss Cunningham's going to start underneath. I'm going to make my first line underneath all these sticky pads. So I'm going to go up here. That's kind of, if I was going to draw a straight line, that's going to be way down here. So I'm just going to leave that right there. I don't need a line right there. Now my next line is going to be above the sticky pads. If you want to make it a really big stick, you can make the line way up here. If you want to make it a skinnier stick, you can make the line right here. I think I want to make mine a really big stick, like he's standing on a tree branch. Okay, so I'm going to make the line go this way. And then let's pretend I'm going to draw a line this way. Oh, I'm going to go right there. And then this way, and then watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to make my tree branch go in like that. This is the tree. This is the background. Okay, this is the tree. This is the background. So then we can start coloring it in. 